G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I've got this new mold that I'm gonna play with today. Uh, it's a textured, like a wavy mold uh, that I just got on Amazon. I've also got a set of four smaller ones in the same design. Those ones are in my eBay store, um, but this one's not. So I thought I'm gonna dust some of these gorgeous colors on and then I'm gonna pour a clear resin on. With this one, it's got this um, like weird textured back on it. So this, I feel, can't be the front, the top. That has to be the back. So normally when I dust like chameleon colors and things on, I pour black on and then you have you peel it out and that's your top. But I don't want that to be the top, so I'm just gonna pour clear on it. And I may actually turn it into a bowl so yeah we'll see what that see how it happens see what happens <laughs> um so i've got these as you can see these gorgeous bright colors i've tried to choose nice bright colors this one is royal purple by lores and that one is it's like a tealy color peacock green by lbb and then we've got grenache by biggie and one of my favorites brilliant gold by pearl x a nice bright blue, cobalt blue by LBB, and then a pretty pink, fairy floss by Piggy. So there we go, and I've just put them upside down so that you can see them, but let's get started. So I'm going to just dust these on, well brush them on I guess, um, and then I'll do a clear, well, I'm not quite sure about that one, we'll see. I was going to go copper. Or, or red and then I thought well this one's kind of a coppery red so just not sure about it but we'll see see how things go right and I'm just using um, a little makeup brush I don't want to put too much on because then you just have the issue with it blowing away and rising up to the surface and, and all that sort of thing so let's just start I don't know if I'll do the whole thing or whether I'll Put you on pause and, and you know fast forward it or something i'm not sure all right here we go let's see how it dusts on see all the residue there the excess i'm going to use that um, and really spread that out because i don't want to have bits of mica powder flying around so that actually did the whole thing Make sure I've brushed it all on up the sides as well. Because it's like a textured thing, you've got to do the side as well in, in whatever colour you choose, not just the bottom. Okay, now once I've done that, I'm going to get my air duster can and I'm just going to blow out the excess because I don't want that excess spreading into another colour, into another section. Okay, eggs. And then I might just even wipe that. It's going to take a little while, just with a, a dry paper towel. I don't want to put like a wet baby cloth in there because then it's going to be wet and I have to wait for it to dry and all that. So, right, there's the pink one. Let's go with the gold. I might just tap that off. So it's going to take me a little while, I would think. Oops, now, now I haven't got enough on. But yeah, the, the air duster I find is, is really good. And I'm going to do it after each colour so that um, my little space next door is nice and clean for the next colour, if you know what I mean. Um, and see there's a, there's a rim around there. I may actually put like a different colour in that because um, I really want to turn this into a bowl. Here we go. Beautiful. Whoa! <laughs> the only thing with it, if you um, tip it too much, you get like a liquid coming out. So you just got to be careful. All right, let's try some of the purple. I think the purple would look nice next to that gold. You're going to get a little bit of an overflow, like overspray. I, I don't think it's going to really matter too much. So, you know, just have fun with it. Enjoy the process. <clears throat> Resin art shouldn't be work, it should be fun, shouldn't it? 
Yeah. Unless you're doing it as a job. <laughs> I don't. I just do it as, as play. Now this little bit hit down here, see it continues the purple one. So I want to make sure that I continue that line through. You don't have to. You could do each section totally different if you wanted to. But I just want to make sure that I have that continuity of the colours going down. But you certainly don't have to. So that's my purple. I'll blow that again. Alrighty, now I think some of this tealy colour would look nice in there. See, I never know, guys, whether to just let the video record and you can just fast forward if you want or do I stop, do the rest, fast forward it, and put it up as a fast forward video. You know, I, I, I don't know. You guys tell me. But like I said, I'm just enjoying the process. Try and get that top little lip there as well. Otherwise, that might be blank. Now this I just got from the, um, I got it from Officeworks in Australia, just from the office supply place. So I'm not sure where else you would get it from. I guess you could just look online and I'm sure you'll be able to just order from Amazon or eBay or wherever you normally buy online. But yeah, I just got it from the office supply place. I think it's... um traditionally used like to clean computer keyboards you know to get the dust out between all the letters because it gets grubby in there and it's difficult to clean isn't it I'm just wondering because I've got I don't know if you can see in here I've got actually like an overflow of each I might actually continue that color into into there I wasn't going to, I was just going to do like black maybe, but maybe it'll be nicer to actually, like once I've finished my purple, just do a little bit of purple in there. Because the overflows can't, you know, when, I, when I'm blowing it with the duster, it's kind of going in there anyway. Okay, we'll see how that goes, put a little bit of gold in there, and in there. Now I'm just making a mess. A little bit of pink that might look pretty a little bit of blue give it a dust because when I'm blowing the dust it is spreading a little bit into into that little gap in there uh, what haven't I used yet this one let's try this one in here okay that's nice I was a bit worried about this one And then I'll just go in there as well into that little crease there. I think I will turn it into a bowl. Because when you're doing a bigger piece like this, unless you're going to turn it into a clock or a tray, for instance, like, you know, what else do you do with it? Because it's just a flat piece. I guess you could just put it on a, like a plate stand and, and display it. Um, <clears throat> otherwise you're going to turn it into something useful otherwise yeah what, what do you do with it <laughs> you know what I mean <laughs> all right so have I used each color one two three four five six yep all right look I'm, I'll, I'll just continue because it's going to take me a while and um, I'll put you on fast forward I will otherwise it's going to take too long
batter that is done and because I've used my air duster I don't have any little loose pieces of mica powders which is wonderful I did find that when I sort of over sprayed I guess some of them I just had to wipe with my paper towel to clean them off um, I might do that next time actually is maybe use a wet baby wipe and then just dry it just so that I don't get the colors mixing like there's a little bit there mixing anyway I have made up some platinum 360 plus resin because it sets up nice and quick so I'll be able to mold my bowl in a couple of hours I, I mixed up 322 grams it's about 11 ounces um, not quite sure if that's going to be enough but because I want to do a bowl I just got to do it all in one one layer so it's 225 grams of A and 97 grams of B I always do more of A because it's heavier uh, and I follow my little chart that I've I use now I wonder what's gonna happen if I pour that into the middle it's not gonna move no nope, it'll be all right here we go oh look at the colors they're just popping and I've chosen all shimmery mica powders necessarily metallics but they're shimmery rather than just like a matte color so I, I don't necessarily have to fill this all the way to the top of the mold I don't think I'm gonna have enough but I do need to come to the top of the highest little ridge I don't think I'm gonna have enough I'll have to mix up another little batch real quick which won't matter because I'm not you know waiting half an hour or something between batches so the new batch should work it'll just blend with the old batch and they'll just all cure at the same time so it won't be a problem I don't think I need a lot though gosh not, not very much at all let's just give this a bit of a torch while I'm mixing up my new batch the bubbles can kind of rise out of this batch it's just there where the reds kind of gone into the pink that bothers me a little but if I do need some more yeah there's just a little bit that's not covering I don't need much but we only need another actually maybe I don't I'm just spreading this covering everything now, how do you know if it's covered I probably yeah I probably will I mean it looks as if it's covered but where the ridges are it's not going to have very much on it so it might be really really thin once I've turned it out so I think I'll make up another oh yeah I can see the little ridges there I'll make up another little bit mm, maybe half a cup I think I need probably half a cup I'll see you then So I just made up a little bit more resin, another, I made up a half a cup, I didn't actually use it all. I thought I pressed record but I didn't so. Um, I just put another half a cup in. I made up a little bit more but I didn't need it all so now I've got some more to make a, look at the sparkle, I can do a 3D bloom with it because I, I made a cup and I thought I'll use half a cup for this and I'll use half a cup for my 3D bloom but this didn't actually take a whole half a cup. Right, let's see if we can look across. Let's see if we can look across. Oh gosh, too much glare. Look across the top. There's a little bit more room still in the mold there, but I'm not gonna fill it. Oh there we go. Look at on the see on the left there where the glare is. A little bit more room. I know it's a bit hard to focus, but anyway, there it is. So um, I'm just going to cover it now I made sure that there's no hair or fluff or anything on the top I'm going to cover that and in a couple of hours I'll come back and um, hopefully I'll be able to turn it into a bowl so see you then so it's been a few hours um, it's quarter past 11 and I finished this at 8 30 so almost three hours to move my little lid out of the way I like to put my lid up on two little containers just to 
lift it up a bit because the resin the resin puts out a lot of heat when it as it's curing and um, I find if it gets too hot it like cures really quickly so that's what I do now I've got this lovely glass bowl it's a very it's got this raised textured flower on that side but it's kind of smoothish on this side it's not very deep so I'm thinking that would be nice now the issue I had like see it's, it's still bendy um, I could take it out but because I'm trying not to touch the top because that side is like got grooves and things on it if I took it out and put it on here what's going to happen to those grooves they're just going to flatten out aren't they I think so so what I'm going to do is I am just going to oops it's a piece of dust um, maybe I should put some gloves on I'll put a glove on so I thought I'm going to leave it in its mold that way I uh, don't risk those bumps on the other side flattening because if they flatten it might sort of pull the top layer down and be all wonky I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it would do I'm just making sure I've got a nice smooth area there on my palm or my that's my palm what's this what's this bit here the ball of your hand I don't know oh uh, anyway let's push this down and I'm hoping that this will work I don't see why it wouldn't work it's not going to be a very deep bowl um, you could put, you know, whatever sort of mould you want to in here. Um, yeah, it's, not, it's not real deep, is it? It's not sitting quite in the centre. I'll just move it over. I just want to make sure it's centred. Um, I don't think I've got another like shallowish bowl I'll, I'll go and have a look but in the meantime I'm just going to leave it in that it's like it's deep enough to <sighs> blow some dust out of it <sighs> it's deep enough to um, use it as a bowl I'll do this just going to make sure you don't get that liquid on on your resin so um, yeah I'm just going to just going to leave it like that sure what the edges are going to do they're starting to like bend a little bit along the edges I don't know if that's just the if that's the resin like if it's just the the mold that's doing that or I'm not sure the other thing I was thinking too was um I think I'll, I'll do this again see the, the raised edges the grooves there you can see like the reds blurring into the pink a bit and so on and so on. I think next time what I'll do is I'm going to get um, a black marker, a gold marker, a silver marker, whatever kind of marker I want. And I'm actually going to draw on those raised grooves, those great raised bits of um, silicone and then put the colours in. That way I'll get this nice distinct line between each and I think it'll really make the colours pop. So yeah, I'm just not sure what this is going to do, this mould. It's kind of looking a little bit sort of wonky. Maybe if I try and smooth it. Anyway, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to go and have a look in my kitchen and see if I can find maybe a, a slightly deeper dish of some kind. But I, I don't think I've got one. I found this. It's just a like a plastic bowl but it's it's got very deep sides and because I'm leaving it in the mold I think I'm just going to leave it like this this can just be my little test piece so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get it to stay in there because it's in the silicon mold it might not want to sort of stay in there but I don't want to put any weight on it because whatever I put in there is going to like leave a, a ring or a crease or something I'm just going to go around and bring these sides in at the top just so I get a nice circle. 
just because the mold is now changing shape because it's on an angle so I just want to make sure that I'm getting a nice circle I'm kind of just pushing those sides in a little bit to keep the mold in its original shape I mean it's a very thin sort of a cheapy mold anyway so they kind of do what they want to do these molds but I'll try so there we go I'm just going to leave it like that and uh, we'll see how that goes for a first attempt but yeah I've got a couple of ideas of what things I would like to do with the next one um, I think probably what I, I'd like to do is maybe do the edge in black um, probably you could use just a black marker I don't think you could really put black resin in because these edges here run into it so some kind of a black whether you dust it with black mica or a black pen like marker mica and marker and then do the raised edges in black so I'll be doing that next and um, and see how that works because I just think it'll make the colors pop a lot more yep yep definitely i'll do that next time all right i'll see you when it's time to unmold it won't take very long let's see if i can show you the, the kind of depth of the bowl it's not very deep it's not a very deep bowl it's looking really pretty though isn't it <laughs> all right i'll see you when it's time to unmold this baby Righto, it's the next day. My bowl has set up. So let's have a little look. So we can just take that out nice and easily now. We don't have to worry about you know resin sticking to our glass bowl. And then that's what we've got on the other side. You can see there it's not a very deep bowl, but uh, a bowl nonetheless, a platter, I guess. All right, let's get it out. Hopefully <clears throat> it'll come out easily. Yes, it is. <laughs> look at that. Oh, look, it looks like stained glass, you guys. That's so pretty. Oh, there we go. And my mold's fine. Nothing stuck to it. All the mica powder came off, which is really good, isn't it? Because it's a smooth mold. All right, there we go. Look at that. So that's the back or the underside. But you can see, see how it's textured? So it's not really any good for the inside. But for the outside, I think it's fine. Now then, I wanted to paint the edge with some gold. I'm just having a little feel and see if it's... I think it probably needs a little bit of a sand just on the edge there. So I'm going to take this into the other room and do it in the laundry over the sink. And I'm just going to sand those edges. And uh, then I will be right back. But look at that. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. I'll be right back. All done. Didn't take much at all. And then this is the gold pen that I'm going to use. The Deco color. Premium gold. That's the nib. You can trim these, you know, if they're looking a little bit fluffy or there's little bits that are not nice and smooth and flat anymore, you can just trim them with the scissors if you're using doing something little. Okay, so this is going to be like a two-part because first of all I want to paint the outside like this, this little outer edge. It might not be so easy to do because there's a curve there. Usually it's easier if there's like a, a little line to follow but when it's a, a little rounded edge, a little bit more tricky than if there's a straight edge. So anyway, I'm going to do that all the way around. I won't do it all now because I'll bore you stupid. But after I've done that, then I'm going to go around with my pen and I'm going to just catch the 
the edge on my pen like that so hopefully it'll stay and then I'm just going to follow that around it just gives there's not a very it's not a very thick edge there at all but I'm just going to do that it just finishes off the top edge like so and round again to the end so there we go that's my little edge done it's not a very wide edge <laughs> this this side here is the wider edge so I will continue to do that I think I probably need to do two coats um, there's lots of products you can use you don't have to use um, the pen you can use some paint if you want to with a paintbrush I wonder if I've got something else because it's such a big area I probably need to have something else that I can use let's look at that for a sec I'll go and find something else so there's little bottles like this model master this is gold it's what they use for model cars and things like that I'm getting a lot of shadows in here I might have to wait until later in the day it's this one as well Montmartre it's not as metallic though I don't think so I'm gonna go with this one so you have to know this because of the shadows oh, I might have to come back a bit later on and do it it'll be all right oh, let me see if I can get the lid off no, nope, can't get the lid off. It's painted shut. Oh my gosh, the struggles are real. I hit the edge with a hammer a few times and it it opened. See that in there? It's really, really metallic -y. It's like liquid gold. Right, let's have a little go at this. Hopefully I don't make a mess everywhere. dip that in there not sure what the coverage is like we shall see whether it's better or worse than the pen that I just used I guess you can put this on a bit thicker maybe oops hang on one of the puppies was crying. Don't know. It had all stopped by the time I got there. But everyone's fine. Oh my gosh. Right. Now, I don't know. Can you see the difference in those two? Do you have a preference for those two? I'm going to keep going with this one because I've got it open. And I've actually got quite a few of these little jars. So I might as well use them up. I think either way, um, because the side of this bowl is quite transparent, I think either way it's going to need two coats. So I'm just going to use up this because I don't want to use up my pen because I use that for coasters. So I'll finish this and then um, I'll show it to you. I will just show it to you now. I don't need to show it to you again. <laughs> it's done. I'll take a photo of it when it's done. But that's it. It's looking really pretty, isn't it? Look at the way the sun catches those colours. It's just amazing. So looking forward to doing it again with those little changes I told you about. So pretty. Oh, there we go. The bright sun's gone now. <laughs> the shadows are gone. And there's the edge so it'd be really nice on your kitchen bench wouldn't it you can put some fruit on it gorgeous I love it all right thank you so much for watching guys I'm gonna finish this I'm gonna make myself a cup of coffee because I haven't had one yet this morning I wanted to come straight out and see what this looked like oh look I can see my hand underneath <laughs> didn't notice that before
<laughs> oh, there we go. All right. Thanks for watching. Love you all. Take care. Hope you enjoyed my video. All right. Bye for now.